Hello again. Great to have you back. And this, I think, is uh, just about week seven of lockdown. So this must be our seventh uh, video uh, message, Ollie. Is that I've right? I've lost count. <laughs> I've lost count too. I've lost everything. <laughs> I don't know what day we're on. I don't know what week we're on. But the Lord is still with us. Yeah. And he's still doing some amazing things. And uh, so we've got to hang on to that, focus in on that. Ollie, what's God doing? Ah, uh, well, I you. just I just wanted to say uh, a big thank you to all those people that messaged last weekend just to say what is happening in their lives right now. So it was just really good to hear about some of the ways God has been speaking to you or stirring you up to do things or, or just the way that it's just made you reflect on where you are in your relationship with God right now. And, and, and so, it, I mean, that was just really encouraging. Um, I shared some of the responses with the elders and they were really encouraged too. Maybe I'll have an opportunity to share some of them with you on Sunday morning. Fantastic. I'm also encouraged by um, just a report we had in from Malawi uh, just in this last week, how the um, training center that is being built in uh, southern Malawi by mm. Charles Mithoa, the, the roof is going on. Uh, we've managed to provide some uh, some funds for that and and they're putting the, the tin roof on. I'm really encouraged that in this time of uh, the, the feelings of powerlessness and um, what can we do and and church kind of in limbo in, in many ways. Here's an example of people building anyway. Yeah. And I'm really, really glad about that. I'm really glad that uh, also the, uh, the the folk in Malawi are raising their own funds for this and by, by selling crops and so on. And uh, it's just an, just an example of some positive thinking, which is uh, really what we need at this time. Mm. Well, one of the things that James was saying last week was about what are we doing if we're getting bored at home and about some of the creative things that people are doing. Uh, but one thing that has um, been offered to us as a church is um, if you are part of Treadworth here, you will know that we have a church library, which at the moment is sitting in the hallway, not doing very much. And it may be that you're at home, you've got a bit more time on your hands, and you would love something new to read. And if that's the case, then you can, because what we're gonna do as of this next week is um, if you go to our website, you'll be able to see a whole list of the books which are available. And if you pick out the book you want and email Andy Gatt, his email, address and his telephone number will be there then he will deliver that book to you how about that sounds good to me <laughs> uh, one of the things that's really uh, encouraging me at the moment is an upsurge in this nation of people who are visiting online church and the the figures are really quite amazing we, we've had decades and decades of figures showing church decline, church attendance decline and, and, and so on. But now in this uh, time of uh, the coronavirus pandemic, we're seeing something like 25% of this nation have turned to online church and are visiting online churches. This is wonderful. I think this is just a tremendous opportunity for sharing faith. It gives me such encouragement to, uh, to preach the word on a Sunday. Also, you look at the number of people who we see just uh, indicating they're committing their life to the Lord. Um, this, it's just a, a heartwarming thing. And just want to encourage you this week to think who would you invite to just type in kingfisherchurch.online.church in their web browser uh, for Sunday morning, 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or 6 o'clock, because the figures are showing it could be a life changer for them. One more thing I'd like to say, and that is um, both uh, a thank you and a, uh, a plea in a sense, really. And that is thank you to those who, despite we're not meeting together um, in the normal way of doing church, thank you so much that you are continuing with um, your financial giving to the church. You'll appreciate that this is, um, uh, well, we all appreciate this is a very difficult time financially for, for everyone in this country and indeed around the world. But thank you to those who have continued giving. Of course, there are a number of people who um, uh, typically would, would give uh, cash 
um, at church, at the, in the box at the back of church, at Treadwood Church, who haven't been able to do that in the, over the last seven or seven weeks. That, that's nearly two months. And uh, so the plea is, would you find a way to give that money? We really still need money to, to do church. Uh, although we're not meeting physically together, there are still so many bills that need to be paid and things that we need to do, tithes that we want to give out to amazing causes around the world. And so I just ask, could you look at how you can do this? Now, there are a couple of ways you can do this, just off the top of my head. Number one is you can give by a bank transfer. All you'd need to do is uh, contact us and we'll give you our bank details that you can transfer the uh, money into our account. The second way, of course, the old fashioned way, if you still have a checkbook, just dust it off. <laughs> you can write a check, you can put it in an envelope, you can post it to us uh, here at uh, Kingfisher Church, Moore Street, Treadworth, GL14NJ. Uh, and uh, either way, that would be really greatly appreciated. Thank you. Definitely. I mean, financial giving is still part of our worship and that is something we can all do still from home. So why don't you join us on Sunday morning? Um, 10 o'clock we start here for the Treadwood service. It's going to be the last in our Stirred Not Shaken series. And uh, we're also going to be having a Zoom meeting straight after the service for anybody who wants to come and say hello. We've done that for the last few weeks, which has been uh, really good to see people's faces. And then at 11 o'clock is the Westgate service. Indeed it is. Now, I was saying last week, bored Christian can't be true. But for an increasing number of people, there is this sense of limbo and of drift and so on. And so I was saying last week, we're going to be addressing this by starting a really great series called Daring Adventure. And uh, we're going to be looking at the book of Esther. And we're going to be seeing that always, it seems to me, always uh, when God launches us on a daring adventure, it is at an inconvenient time, an unlikely time, uh, with unlikely people, and often comes right out of the blue. My point is, your next daring adventure is closer than you think, and it could be starting on Sunday. So join us 11 o'clock as we look at, start looking at the book of Esther, 6 o'clock as we continue this series of going through the whole Bible, and a whole number of people have uh, been saying this has been really helpful for them and help them to think through um, just uh, uh, and get a greater understanding of how the Bible all fits together. So 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 6 o'clock. But before all of that, there's something else. Ollie, what's happening this Saturday morning? Uh, yes, sorry. I'm it's um, secretary. It is our, our prayer meeting Sunday morning. Uh, so we would love you to join us. You just have to log into the link ID for Zoom. All the Connect Group leaders have that number. Oh, if you're not in a connect group, then you can just message us and we will give you that number so you can join us too. So this Friday, it's a bank holiday. I don't even know what that means. What would that mean? Does that mean <laughs> doesn't anything? Doesn't make any difference, it doesn't does make it? any difference at all. Uh, but I uh, just want to note that uh, public service, the clocks don't go back or forward. And um, so, I don't know, maybe get dressed on Friday just to, <laughs> you know, commemorate the day. Uh, but anyway, join us on Sunday. Join us on Saturday for the prayer meeting. Have a great weekend and um, God's still at work. <laughs>